Another quality aspect of an elliptical and something that you hear a lot about is stride length. What is stride length and what does it do? Well, stride length is calculated by the front of your toe to the back of your heel when you're walking. That's what stride length is. Typically speaking, when you're in a gym or a club setting, the gold standard is a 20 inch stride length. You will find some lesser manufacturers that actually make their ellipticals with a 16 or 18 inch stride length. But beware, as you get less of a stride length, you tend to do this more with your knee and you feel more like a stair stepper motion, which actually places more stress on your knees, your ankles, and your lower back. With this Life Fitness elliptical right here, you start at 18 inches and then you can work your way up to 24 on a stride length. Because of the changing stride length, it really accommodates anybody with any activity level. Typically speaking, when you walk, you're walking at a shorter stride length. And when you run, you're really engaging more muscles and you're coming out on a longer stride length. That's what will happen here as this changes strides, you'll be able to accommodate different activity uses. The second thing that you need to know is that on a stride length, sometimes it's more important to talk about the way that the stride is with its depth or with its shape. What I mean by that is on an elliptical, rather than just doing a perfectly elliptical shape, what it should do is more map the human body. The way it does that is to have a slight kidney bean shape. Your foot comes up when you run and it replaces down. So instead of having a perfect ellipse, instead you want to have a kidney bean. 